I'll give you guys like a little haul and then we're gonna try out the stuff. Guide sticker. Oh, this is high tech. You know one of those things where you're just like, this is going to change my life. It literally smells like it's about to catch on fire any second. Immediately seek medical attention. This is officially the weirdest I've ever looked for a video. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is gonna be another haul. I know I've been doing a bunch of these on my channel, but honestly, I love them, mostly because I have a shopping addiction. I'm coming at you with an Amazon haul today. I've been doing so many hauls lately because quarantine, and two, it was my birthday, so I got a bunch of gift cards and money to spend on things that I wanted. $100 to spend on Amazon. I did go a little bit over, but it was really fun because I don't usually shop on Amazon, honestly. I'm very specific about the things that I buy, and I feel like Amazon is just so random, like, no shade against Amazon, love the things that I got, I'm so excited for it, but it's always like, you don't go to Amazon for, like, when you want clothes, or when you want, like, home decor, which is most of the things that I buy. Amazon is more like, what random things would make my life better that I can't find at, where else do I even shop? Yeah, Amazon haul. My ordered so much random stuff. They all ship separately, so it has taken a lot of restraint not to open the stuff up and like use it. As you can see, some of the boxes are open. <laughs> I kind of peeked through the boxes. I promise I didn't open anything. I mean, I ordered the stuff, so like I know what it is. But I did just receive my last box. That's a lie. I do have one thing that is not here yet. Literally says that it could come at the end of July. Not everything's here, but the last of the things that I was expecting this month at least just arrived. So that's why we're doing this video now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get into it. I'll give you guys like a little haul and then we're gonna try out the stuff that I got. And there's like a bunch of random stuff in this box. Let's start with this one because there's less in this box. So this one I did open. I do know what it is, but I haven't like opened it opened it it is a new microphone for my camera whoa i don't know if we ever talked about it really but back in january the microphone that we had since we had this camera which was a super nice roadie microphone we only had it for a year it started doing this really annoying thing where it would like buzz and like pop all the time then back in january i think it was specifically at the rex orange county concert where like we can't even use half of the footage that we have from this vlog so we have been filming without a microphone ever since then, and honestly, it's been fine. I have the Canon EOS M50, and the microphone works really great, but just the sound quality is better with the mic, so. And this one's like the cute, well, it's supposed to be. Let's open it up first. It's supposed to be the cute little fuzzy mics that all the cute little vloggers have. I think it's called like a dead cat mic, unfortunately. It like shows it on the back here. In the picture, it has like the little fuzzy thing, but on the front, it just has this, so. Hopefully it has it inside. This is the Movo. I don't know much about Movo at all. So let's open her up. Okay, good. So it does have the little furry microphone part to it. See, look how cute. Got a little bag, two cords, and this little thing which attaches to the top of the camera. It looks like both of these cords are the same. So I guess it just depends which one I want to use. I guess I'll try out this straight one because that was like similar to the one that we had before this little thing goes here here let's just try it out right now and we'll see if there's a difference there we go that looks better. Let me show you, like, in the reflection. See, look at, so cute. Here is another one. If you do not know, I just got a new phone. I'm really excited about it. It's the new iPhone 11. It's white and beautiful. I got it for my birthday. It's really exciting. I've never had a new or, like, recent phone. I'm terrified of dropping it or breaking it or cracking it or anything. I got this OtterBox case. It's just clear because I love the white color of my phone. It's their Symmetry series. I don't know much about this. I don't know much about OtterBox other than it's supposed to be the best phone case around. And I spent $40 on this and I hope that it is. So let's slip this on here. Here it is on. Looks pretty nice, pretty sleek. It does feel like really high quality. It's on. That's cute. I also got a few more things for my phone. I got a glass screen protector. I just got the cheapest one that was tempered glass. I'm just gonna do it now. Yeah, I'll just 
why not okay so now we open up and we got a whole bunch of things inside here some dust absorbers guide sticker oh this is high tech <laughs> spiffy and nice and protected we got one more little accessory for her and it is a pop socket I never was one who got on the pop socket game I thought it was stupid and I just wasn't about it I was like this is gonna die out I'm not gonna jump on it and then my 11 year old sister gave me a pop socket one of her old ones it was like tie-dye galaxy or something and I put it on my phone like kind of as a joke. I ended up keeping it on my phone because I was so obsessed with it. When I had a pop socket, I literally would just like... Especially with my phone being so big now and I feel like I'm always, I was always like slipping out of my hands. I was like, you know what, this is a perfect excuse to get a pop socket. Sticking with my white clear theme, I got a classy white pop socket. But let's open her up. I think it just goes... Do you put it over the apple? I'm gonna Google where to put a pop socket. I think the move is to just put it over the apple, sadly. Press her down. It's definitely not in the middle, but it's close enough. And she's classy. The next thing that I got was this giant water bottle. It's super cute and pink. And it is 74, I think, 74 ounces, which is for women, because I know men and women are different. I think this is the required amount of water that your body needs a day. And I am so bad at drinking water. So bad. That's always been a thing. I never drink water, like, at all. And this is just, like, a lot easier to keep track of if I have to drink this whole thing instead of, like, trying to remember to drink water throughout the day. I am going to try and do this every single day, see if I see any results with my body. I know I've seen a couple videos where people have done this and have seen like crazy results. Really excited. I feel like, you know, one of those things where you're just like, this is going to change my life. That's how I feel about this water bottle. And that is it for this box. One more box to go. So these are the last few things that I have technically for today's haul. This little cute brown box. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. These are Polaroid magnet holders and they're like holographic too, which is so cute. I don't know if you can see how beautifully it catches light. It's gorgeous. But what this is, is basically like the top comes off. You put a little Polaroid in here, put the top on and you put it on your refrigerator or anything else magnetic and it's a good way to show off your Polaroids. So Brandon and I have a Polaroid camera. We love taking Polaroids. We have taken so many of them now. I have like a little board that's like positive thinking. I got it from Urban Outfitters and I've thrown as many as I can fit in there, but we still have so many more that I want to display. And I feel like we are always looking for more magnets for our refrigerator. I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six, which I think will be like a good amount to display. So I'm going to grab all my Polaroids and we're going to decide which ones we want to display on the refrigerator. This is the Polaroid board that I have. It's the same sort of like magnetic thing. And I've just thrown in a bunch of Polaroids in there. And then we also have this pile of a ton of Polaroids that we're not even getting to display at all. Honestly, I'm just gonna pick out my favorites. I love this one just because of how big my feet look. So let's like throw it in there, see what it looks like. So cute. All right, let's find some more. I literally just can't make decisions. That's gonna be our biggest problem here. I like this one with Brandon a lot. This is a cute one with Brandon. I feel like it would be so cute to like write something on the bottom. Isn't that what they used to do with them? I love this. Here's that one of me. This is one of my favorites ever. It's like one of those cool artsy outfit pictures. All right, so I have two left at this point. I feel like one of them, another one has to be Brandon. <laughs> and I feel like we also need one of Brandon and I together. So I chose one of Brandon sitting in front of this cool old picture from Star Wars. I know he'll love that one. The last one, I'm gonna throw in this picture from Valentine's Day. I look hella ratchet and really not cute, but Brandon looks adorable and he got me and surprised me with a bunch of stuff for Valentine's Day and it's 
kind of really cute. These are turning out so cute. I'm so impressed with them. Now I'm just gonna put them on the refrigerator. So I put up the magnets on the refrigerator and they turned out super cute. I don't know if there's a cuter way to display them, but I really like all of them. They're so cute. Just like what? A cute idea to display Polaroids and also like have magnets on your refrigerator. All right, and then the last thing in this box is a new curling iron. This is the Infinity Pro by Conair. It had awesome reviews online. It was supposed to be like the best curler you could get from Amazon. The curlers that I have do not have the clip. And I really like the look of the clip curls, and I've been watching so many tutorials lately. This is one and a quarter inch. This should give you, like, some solid, voluminous curls. Oh, tourmaline. I don't know what that is. But apparently that's what this is, and it's supposed to be good for your hair and not hurt hurt it. So that is all the stuff that I have in boxes today. I am going to try out this new curling iron if you want to stick around and see that. And then actually the last thing in my haul, which is like really exciting, pretty intense, but that's not here yet. And I'm going to have to end up filming like a second part of the video just because I want to start using these things. And I'm not going to wait till the end of July for this thing to get here. You know what I mean? So if you want to see me use this new curling iron, stick around. We're going to try it out. Okay. So now I'm in my bathroom and I'm about to try my new hair curler. The first thing to note though is um, it smells horrible. It literally smells like it's about to catch on fire any second and I probably should unplug it and not use it, but we're gonna try it out anyways. Hopefully it's just like something where it's like heating up for the first time and it's not gonna always smell like that because I'm honestly expecting my smoke alarm to go off. I have second day old hair right now. I know that that hair is supposed to curl easier than fresh hair, so. I don't know, fact. Here it is all steamy. I haven't had a curler like this since I was in high school, I think. Then I know I didn't know how to use it, but I have watched some YouTube videos since how they like professionally curl your hair with one of these, but I've never done it like that. So it will be interesting. I wanna say you like go like that and you're supposed to like let it up then keep readjusting it and just like keep feeding more and not do the ends and then to like flip it over like that and then release it. That's a pretty solid curl. I feel like it's actually like a perfect little curl. Like once I brush that out, that'll be super cute. I think I'm gonna do like every other one way, the other way. Okay, so put it halfway, curl it, then loosen it. And then curl it. It's kind of perfect. And honestly, it's way easier than I thought it would be. Also, this one has different temperatures. This one I have, I'll look at it in a second because I don't want to burn my hair off, actually. I have this at 360. It goes all the way up to 400. So there's like 310, 330, 360, 400. I feel like I could definitely go down. Like, it's really hot right now. Right now, I'm at 360. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. And I'll come back to you when my whole head is curled and we'll brush it out and see how it looks. Back to the scent of your rose water skin. Watching the skies in your viewfinder again. A small tip that I have for you guys. I've got it all curled up. Let it sit here for literally just a second because it doesn't take long at all. Instead of letting go of this first, I almost pull it out until it gets stuck at the bottom and then I let go and it makes the curl up top stay better and it almost makes it skinnier so it's not like spiral. Super impressed so far, it's super easy to do. Your hair just like glides on it so easily. I have a big problem with frizz when I use heat on my hair and literally no frizz. If you have a problem with frizz when you're looking for any sort of products, I would honestly recommend something with this tourmaline in it. It's fantastic. I mean, it literally makes such a difference. Also, I am a fan by how fast it is curling my hair. Like, I've probably been doing this for 10, maybe 15 minutes. Not even 15 minutes. Like, that's too long. This is it without being brushed out. It's still like really relaxed beautiful curls absolutely no frizz i'm gonna brush through this and see what it looks like I'm telling you this was so easy i'm so impressed by this this is the curls brushed out i love this so yeah that is it for the curling of the hair hair is done it looks beautiful curling iron review 
5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 100%. I totally would recommend. I do have one more thing that I ordered from Amazon. It is not here. I actually checked the tracking and it's there's a chance that it's not going to come until the end of July. The thing I ordered is kind of sketch, so it probably definitely is coming from China. I figured I wanted to start using these products now. I did not want to wait until the end of July. So that is the end of the haul for today. And for me, unfortunately, it sounds like it'll be the end of July that I see you next in the video. But for you, it'll be two seconds. So I'll see you then. Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later, like literally almost a month later, and I am sorry for my haggard appearance. I just had kind of a lazy day, and what I'm about to do next, I cannot have any makeup or contacts in, so got the glasses. But look what finally arrived. I got this Lash Lift Eyelash Perming Kit. This is the last thing I got for the Amazon haul. It is something that I've seen all over TikTok, all over YouTube and it's something I'm really excited to try out so we are gonna try it and see if it actually works or if I go blind the box is very beat up oh it's very cute so we've got four different steps we have the perm fixation nutrition and cleanser we've got some lift pads and a cleaning tool I've watched a couple videos of people do this so oh, we also have false lash glue if any of these solutions gets in your eyes then to flush your eyes for 15 minutes and then to immediately seek medical attention I feel like the likeliness of that is very high let's do this I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of nervous here we go first use the cleanser number four to remove the oil dust and makeup residue i got a cotton ball we have this adorable little thing of cleanser there's a lid on top of it i don't know if i'm supposed to take this off yes i take it off step one done i'm already confused so this apply the eye pads under the eyelids to protect your skin from lotions and it says Put glue on the eye pads, then place it on the upper part of the eyelid. And also, there's only something called lift pads. There's nothing called eye pads. Also, it says to cover your eyes with a plastic wrap, and I do not have plastic. So I wonder how important that is. Okay, so I guess we're just ignoring step two. Place it on the upper part of the eyelid and make sure it is stayed. It is stayed. So that's what this lash glue is for. False lashes glue, which it's not false lashes. So you take one of these and these are all different sizes. For me, I kind of feel like the thinner silicone is going to be better. Even though it might not have as much of a curl, I feel like they'll stick up straighter and be more noticeable. I got the lash glue and I'm putting it on the back of the silicone. Got one, let's stick her on there. This is kind of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie to you. Love that. I usually get a eye procedure done, but this literally looks like me coming out of eye surgery. This is officially the weirdest I've ever looked for a video. Okay, so now it says step Four, apply the glue on the eyelashes to keep it stuck to the lift pads for one minute. I guess I'm gonna take this lash glue again. I guess put it here. Oh, this one's coming up, annoying. My lashes will not stay glued. I have put so much glue on them, it's insane. Waiting for some of this to drip in my eye and blind me. Okay. That literally took me 30 minutes just to glue the eyelashes. And now they're like cement. So let's move on to the other eye now. Okay, I can already tell this is going to take a long time. So I'm going to come back to you when this step is done. Guess who's back? This cutie. Just want to show you these are the lashes as good as they're going to get. All glued upwards. Use the perm lotion on the eyelashes and cover your eyes with plastic grab. I don't have plastic grab. Can I just hold plastic up to it? Perm solution number one. Here she is. But I'm getting it on this thing and just putting it on. This isn't working. This is a tiny makeup brush. All right, it says now plastic wrap on and perm for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna put this wrapper on my eyes and call it a day. This is real ratchet, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, and I'll see you in 10 minutes.
Eyelashes are still attached to me, so that's a good sign. I also found this um, sealing wrap, so we tried that instead. I just want this off of my face. Now, I remove the perm lotion with this Y brush, and then I put the second one on. Let's now do the fixation. Closing my blinds. I don't want anyone to see me like this. I kind of feel like I didn't use enough of the perm stuff. Now another 10 to 12 minutes with this on my face. Second round done. That, this has taken a very long time. I'm not gonna lie, if my lashes don't look amazing after this, I will probably never do this again. Use the cleanser number four to clean off all residue with the Y brush, wiping with the comb side. Taking number four again, which is the cleanser. I'm just scraping off everything with the little brush that they give you on the comb side. So basically, I think I just wanna get all my eyelashes off of this pad. That's what they're looking like so far. Last step is to add this nutrition lotion oils. Okay, and that is it. I feel like this side's more noticeable than this side. This side, I really feel like the glue just didn't hold it. I had too many eyelashes over here. I feel like if I did it again, I would definitely spend more time on separating like the lashes, making them all perfect and all stuck on there. And then also put more perm stuff on there. I feel like I should see more of a difference. My review. It took a really long time. It was just like really hard to do. It was like really hard not to get in your eyes. And then you have to like sit with something wrapped around your eyelids for 20 minutes. Yeah, it was honestly just like a pain. And I honestly was hoping there would be more extreme results. It was my first time doing it. I feel like it would be a lot easier like once you know all the steps and how everything works. I'm not as impressed with it as I thought I would be. I'm gonna say not worth it. Maybe I'll do it again and perfect it and it'll be worth it and you'll actually see a difference, but I really don't see that big of a difference. Like, I'm still gonna curl my eyelashes, you know? I wouldn't change anything in my makeup routine because I have this now, you know what I mean? Yeah, not that impressed, probably wouldn't recommend. I have seen people use this to laminate your eyebrows. I know that's a huge trend right now. Should I do it and see if it works? Let's do it. All right, all right. Surprise extra part to this video. I am going to try to laminate my eyebrows with this eyelash perm solution. See if that works any better. Cleanse first. Now I do have an issue with my eyebrows. They often lay down during the day. I usually have to use a lot of brow gel. They just do not have any volume. I think you just like brush them up. We got them brushed. They're looking really crazy. I wonder if I need to use the glue. Going into the perm. Watch my eyebrows and eyelashes just be gone tomorrow. All right, still looking crazy. I feel like it definitely would have helped to put the glue in. Do not want to try to get all that glue out of my eyebrows afterwards. Now let's tank some of this multi-purpose sealing wrap. And this is nice because since it's not over my eyeballs, I can actually like watch TV too. Stick her on and I'm gonna watch some TV and I'll be back in 12 minutes. Now let's put a little bit of fixation on them. They're looking a little crazy. Let's go on for round two. All right, the brows are still on. That's always a good sign. All right, that is finished product. Are they stuck like this? No, but I do feel like they have a little bit more volume than usual. Well, I would say that's a success. An update on the eyelashes. There's basically no difference. Hey guys, it is editing me. Um, I just wanted to give you like a total update on the eyelashes and the eyebrows. Also, eye bangs, um, let's not talk about it. But I wanted to tell you that both the eyelash perm and the lamination of the eyebrows were trash. Like, none of it worked. 100% did not stay. Nothing happened with my eyelashes. If anything, it made my eyelashes, like, feel unhealthy. Like, I feel like they totally stripped them. They feel brittle now. And my eyebrows, literally nothing changed. So, do not waste your money. If you want to get your brows laminated or your eyelashes longer, get them done professionally or just accept that there's things like brow gel and fake eyelashes, which I have. I just want to come on here and tell you guys that because I was, like, very disappointed and do not want you wasting $30 and waiting a month 
for this to come because honestly I'll never do it again so back to the video that is the final end to my Amazon haul even though it took like two months to film. I hope you guys have been enjoying these hauls that I've been doing lately. It's been super fun to get so many new products and reviewing them. I have one more haul coming after this and then that's probably gonna be it for a while. <laughs> but as usual, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like and if you want to see more content from me, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next Monday. Bye! Share our last dance Behind obstructed confines of a gas mask Chasing the sun